With that, we will allow this transmission to come to a gentle resolve, though we will conclude with a final meditation process. Again, allowing yourself to return to your centering in your heart. We will open for a process that we describe as your ascension column or channel. Resting here in your heart, picture a great figure eight loop and see this loop circling around your heart, moving through all parts of your chest, moving back and forth, and feel as this figure eight loop moves. It expands your heart, it increases its light vibration every moment. Now allow this figure eight loop to turn upon its side and stretch beyond your heart up to the crown of your head and down to the base of your spine, continuing to picture streams of light and energy move up and down around through your crown, through your heart, down to your root and up again, feeling an electric current of energy move. Notice if it has a unique color for you. Perhaps it is blue, white, gold, violet or green, perhaps it is a very different color. And now see as this current increases its velocity, it allows for an opening of a channel that begins as a simple line of energy from your crown to your root. And this line or channel goes infinitely up through the center of your galaxy and beyond and down it goes infinitely down through the center of your earth and beyond. Now see this thread of light expand and become a wide crystal column and as this figure eight loop continues to circuit it channels in liquid light that flows in through this two-sided crystal column. As you breathe, this liquid light enters your cells, moves up, down, and all around. See from the center of that figure eight in your heart, now roots that grow down from your heart, the base of your body becoming much like the trunk of a tree. These roots grow from your perineum, from your sit bones, from your feet, and into the earth and they first weave into a web with the other roots of the trees and the other plants and the mycelium grid of electrical impulses that dance across the globe. As you inhale, imagine breathing in those electric currents that connect you to the whole globe. And as you exhale, see that energy go out through that electric web, taking a couple of breaths in this current sphere And allowing yourself then to go a deeper step down to the layer of the earth composed of minerals, metals, crystals. Again, seeing them travel around the globe in their patterns. Breathing in the energies from all of these electric spheres and exhale the energy back into the earth. And witnessing again, rising into your body from this grid and going down even deeper into a layer of your earth you could consider the black lake. Decomposed life forms for millions of years, creating what you know as fossil fuels and many layers of sediment beneath the earth. It is dark, thick, murky. Yet in this darkness is ancient genetic material of ancestors who have allowed life on this planet to grow. Their energy is still with you. And in it, some of the heaviest patterns 
are stored, yet also the greatest gifts. Feel the support of the ancients beneath you as well as you sink deeper, taking this energy up into your body as the breath and allowing it to sink down back into the earth. And go beyond this level now into a molten level where the earth becomes plasma. And plasma indeed is an element that makes your body work itself, yet it is also an element of the earth beneath you. At this level, the earth is more like a sun than a planet. Molten, bright, shiny. Feel this plasma also rise up through your roots into your body, activating hidden circuitry. And exhale your energy back down into the plasma. And finally down to the deepest level of your earth, which is a solid iron core crystal. A deep pressure remains here, an intense stability, an intense magnetism. Imagine some of that pressure. Feel the vibration. Feel that here the earth is singing a song, carrying a vibration, the Schumann resonance transferring it up into your body, coil by coil. Breathe up that energy into your body and exhale, allowing your energy to rest back into that core Schumann resonance. In and up and out. Can you hear the sound of the earth? Can you feel it in your body? Even if you simply imagine it, carry it through all of these roots, through all of these layers of the earth into your own root chakra. And as a current that now is carried on that cycle of the figure eight moving through your body, letting the energy rise up into your root chakra, rise up through all of your chakras and move through that current from your heart. As the earth energy begins and all of its layers to move through you, you feel you are composed of these plants, this plasma, these minerals, the life force of the ancients, and a frequency beyond that which you can possibly perceive. Allow now for a new current of energy to rise up from your heart, going through your throat chakra, your head chakras, <coughs> third eye, crown, and out in many channels of energy that move like spirals above your head. First open the channels that move up to your sun and your moon. Seeing a gold and a silver channel move in this double helix fashion, allowing in on one hand the receptive lunar energy, a silver light that shines upon your emotions, the currents, the ups and downs you may face, and the solar energy, a golden bright heat that illuminates and shows you the power of the light within you. Allow these two currents to merge. As you breathe in, project yourself up beyond. As you breathe out, let the currents descend into your body. Breathe in up to your sun and allow those currents to descend. And the next time you breathe up, see new currents that travel then through your sun to all of your sun's sibling stars throughout this galaxy. You may know them by names of Sirius, Alcyon, Maya, Antares, Arcturus. Yes, and many more. Perhaps there are other stars that you seek as well. Picture them as blue, blue, white. Whichever star you are drawn to, you need not know. See that network and feel as you breathe in. You extend beyond that realm of the stars. As you breathe out, those many currents of energy descend into your body. 
Feel the light of your stars of healing descend into you. And out. And finally, through these stars, allow yourself to go fully beyond to the center of your galaxy that you may know is a supermassive black hole. Yet through this density, through this darkness, find a point of singularity in its center around which all this darkness vortexes. <clears throat> through this singularity, opens a portal, a wormhole, you could say, into the many other galaxies, the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Know that through the center, the all is experienced as one. And there is that threshold of potentiality to go beyond and to allow anything in. As you breathe in and out, breathe in up to the center of the galaxy and as you breathe out allow for the unexpected the unmanifest the unknown to descend into you <laughs> breathe in and extend yourself above and beyond and breathe out and allow this great darkness this great voidness to allow an idea that has never been thought before from the field of infinite potentiality to be received by you Continue to allow this, breathing in and out to the beyond, and allowing yourself to receive the unknown. Now here comes, as we have spoke to earlier, that great source, separation, that sort of spectrum between love and fear. At its deepest end, all fear is the fear of the unknown. All fear is the desire to shape reality based upon the principle that one can never know all of it. <coughs> it is the idea that if you can simply plan for, prepare for, create a structure for something to dismantle this unsecurity created by uncertainty, you would be better for it. Yet in reality, as you extend yourself out into the unknown, out into the uncertain, allow yourself to receive its love. Allow yourself to go beyond into what is actually dark to discover that what you may perceive as dark is not in the same way bad are scary, that as you embrace what is not known, what cannot be known, what is uncertain, that which cannot be predicted at all, you then step into the greatest degree of love, which is an embrace of all that could ever be. Again, finally breathe in and up into that black hole breathe out, allow a new idea to descend into you and to be held in your heart. And here resting again in your heart with your hands upon your heart, seeing now this rapid moving figure eight extend beyond your crown and your root and go instead to the center of the earth into the center of the universe, your true root and your true crown. For you are not really an individual being at all. <laughs> you are really the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and with this loop of infinity moving rapidly back and forth, up and down, you may come to know yourself as the all. And you may come to know that you will only know that which you need to know. And in that knowing, the rest will solve itself. This loop of infinity is always within you, and now that you have experienced it once, it can never be erased from your memory and from your template. 
honor and embrace that you are the infinite and we are you and you us. We thank you for receiving this transmission. Know that it is going into your cells in a powerful way that will allow for great changes to occur and it may take several days for you to integrate the information and the transmission of this energy at this time. Honor yourself in that process and enjoy it and know that your beingness is influencing reality in miraculous ways. And we commend you for that. We shall see you in other ways and know that we are always an inner phone call away. <laughs> Simply ring us up in your heart center and we will respond. Oh, thank you guys so much.